So today, we are going to take a look at the role of a producer in video games. It is a role that is incredibly important in games, especially at a AAA level, but sometimes can be problematic. And my view is that they can be either very, very good or very, very bad for production, depending on how studios use them. And pretty much every single studio that I've been in, they use them in different ways. And I'm gonna try and break down how they are used, some of the good, some of the bad, and ultimately how the industry should move forward from my perspective when it comes to production and getting games to be finished on time with no crunch, because that is essentially what production is there to do. So. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so welcome to another video. If you are new here, my name is Harvey Newman. I like to share my passion for animation, the games industry, and much, much more here in this video with all of you. Now, production is a very, very crucial part of game making. And the reason why is this. The game needs to actually follow a certain schedule that schedule needs to be delivered on time. There's a lot of money being put into games. And then somebody needs to make sure that the ship is actually not only sailing at the right speed, but also making sure that it hits certain deadlines and making sure that everybody feels at peace with where we're heading and making sure that we finish the game within a certain deadline. Games are not an exact science, at least not yet. And every single studio works in a different way and everybody's trying to figure out exactly how to make their games. Now, if you have been a studio that have been publishing games for many years, you have a pipeline, you have a set of tools, and you have a set of like gameplay mechanics that you can pull from so you can then create another game. So let's say a game like Battlefield, they have been doing Battlefield for many years. There's a lot of legacy when it comes to the tools and the pipelines and the schedules and they know more or less how long a game takes, right? So they can pick up on that formula, on that model and then go like, this new game should last more or less this long. But as everyone knows, no matter what game it is, there is delays, there's cancellations and there's more delays and everybody blames the developers. However, I think the, pro the problem is much bigger than just blaming developers because what happens through the course of a game is that things change and they change a lot. And part of it is because games take a long time to develop and the other part is that the game is not finished until it's finished. So you're trying to figure out doesn't matter how much pre-production you do, meaning doesn't matter how much time you spend planning the game, that when you get into production, full production, which means that we're just making the game now, we're still trying to figure out a bunch of stuff and there's gonna be a lot of curveballs that are gonna come your way that you're going to have to sort out in certain ways. Now, how does that all connect to production? Production's work is to make sure that everybody's on time, everybody ma is making their tasks on time, and this ship, once again, is going to a certain place at a certain speed and making sure that everybody's at peace about getting there. Now, the problem is that because of all these changes that are happening in the background and because a game takes a good three to five years to make, there are so many changes that if you're not careful, they compound over time. And by the time that you hit your three-year deadline or five-year deadline, you might be way behind of where you were in the beginning. Now, I don't actually envy anybody in production because they are always in a really tough place. They are always between a rock and a hard place all the time. So either the work is actually being done on time and now people want to pile more work because if you're doing so well then let's pile more work on top or the work is not getting done on time so what's going wrong what's happening what is what is broken how how can you guys fix it is your job as production to fix it you should have flagged this earlier you should have done this you should have done that and poor producers they are running around like headless chickens trying to actually make sure that everybody there does their job at the correct time, as fast as possible, and as well as possible. Now, all artists, coders, and people that are doing their job in games, normally, depending on the studio, there is this love and hate relationship with production. And um, I think that comes from if a studio has had delays over time, over many years, over many projects. There's a, set, a certain sense as a developer that as you are doing your animations, as you are heading towards a goal, 
you kind of have this anticipation that something is going to fall off the wagon or something is going to break and it's going to be production that didn't told you what to do when you had to do it and they didn't really kind of like had the transparency to kind of tell you the things so there's almost two layers to this there's the developers and then there's the producers on top right or below depending on how it is now when I actually had a look at the animation state of the industry, which was basically this um, survey that I showcased with you guys uh, last week, uh, when it came to a survey uh, by a lot of animators on the things that are going well, the things that are going badly. The number one problem people found is that people felt very strongly in this survey about production. And most people felt that when production is involved in a project very closely to, with animation at least things normally don't go as well as when th produ producers are not involved right almost hinting at that we don't need production in animation because it's better not to have production i don't think necessarily that's true i think when a project is of a certain scope when you have 500 people working on one project you really need a production layer to make sure that everything gets done on time perhaps the this connection there about thinking that production when production is involved things don't go so well is depending on the size of the studio but also depends on the knowledge of production of the role that they're actually producing for unlike film or unlike vfx the producers in games because games is such a new industry at least from my experience normally don't understand what the team that they are taking care of is working on so just to backtrack a little bit producers normally take care of a team there's many producers happening and they go like this is the producer for animation or producers for art and they take care of a bunch of different people this is the producer for coding or engineering and they take care of a bunch of people so there's more than one producer in each team and then they actually report to the head of production right and then the head of production now pulls the strings and finds out what's going right what's going wrong if there's a problem with a certain employee or a certain department and all these things now going off of the survey and the results of the survey about people being very disheartened by production is that most producers that are taking care of a department in games at least based on my experience don't really understand what the department underneath needs to do in order to make it work and by that i mean for example, I had producers that were working with me in animation and they didn't know anything about animation, which then made it incredibly difficult for me because I had to explain why things take so long or why we actually had to redo a certain thing or why we have to iterate on a certain part or why the implementation takes so long. And that is kind of like really um, uh, tiring to me because when you have to repeat yourself over and over again you kind of expect somebody that is kind of like setting up the schedule setting up the timing helping you kind of like pushing the department forward to at least know exactly what the department needs to be doing you know as a whole and when they don't it becomes problematic right at least from my experience now the positive experiences that i had with production is when producers know what the department that they're actually leading or producing um, need to do, right? Because at this point, then they know that an animation takes this long for these reasons. Animation is hard. Implementation is hard. We need to build systems. We need to actually build all these things before we go ahead and do the, the stuff. And then it means that the producer and the head of a department can come together and actually better explain when things don't go well because that is when the crux of the problem happens when things don't go well and in production and the head of a department is actually clashing instead of working together towards getting uh, to a certain goal that's basically when production becomes a little bit of a problem right so that is basically what i wanted to say with this video which is basically that Product producers are incredibly important. The bigger the project, the more important the producer. However, I think that in the games industry, once again, because we are young, we need to start getting more producers that understand what a certain department is doing in order to actually make the most out of that department and making sure that we are all working towards a goal. Uh, because otherwise it becomes incredibly frustrating. And I think this is why the survey, uh, Animation State of the Industry, basically named production as the number one 
problem or frustration, I should say, not a problem, but frustration uh, for most teams when um, production is actually involved. So I'll, once again, I'll link down below the survey or the video to the survey where we can find the results. And this is basically the end part of the survey. There's a bunch of slides there that explain that much better than I can right here. But I just wanted to share with you guys what a producer does from my perspective, my experiences, and also the positive and negatives of production. Um, I wanna, lastly, but not least, I wanna give a shout out to one of the best producers that I worked with, which is Fawn, Fawn Mead. So she actually came from an animation background. She was an animator herself, and then she got into production. And she worked with companies like Ardman and like, um, uh, the, the studio that worked in Klaus in Spain. And she actually managed the animation team incredibly well because she knows how animation is incredibly hard and that we have to actually try to come together to ex better explain where the planning is in animation. So we need more producers like that that have a really good understanding and not only understanding but passion for the department that they might produce for so you can actually get more velocity more production more uh, of a better outcome uh, towards a certain goal i really believe that once the games industry gets to this point that all producers understand exactly what is needed from certain departments we can actually get to a better place and we can actually get more games delivered on time and on schedule, because that is the basically the biggest problem all the time. Um, when the game doesn't come out on schedule or is not actually according to plan, but the game is still good, then there's a lot of pointing fingers to who has the fault and where should we be and is it the department, is it production, is it, there's a bunch of stuff happening that really shouldn't really be happening if we all come together and work towards a certain goal. So. I hope that was not too complex and I hope you actually kept up with me through it all. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comments that I can maybe answer when it comes to my experiences, when it comes to production. And if you disagree with me and if you think that maybe you have a really good experience with production, therefore you are the champion of production, or if you producer yourself, then definitely comment below and then let us know what your experience is. Because I have a strong feeling that because you are basically sandwiched between a rock and a hard place as a producer, obviously you must be more frustrated than anybody like, you know, in your surroundings. So I really feel for producers. I really think that we, there is a better world out there, a future, a better future out there for them. And if we work together and we come together, I think we can actually get there. So that is production in games. Kind of complex, but absolutely necessary, especially when you have a massive game. We need producers, so we just need producers that are better at understanding how games are made and what each department does. I, that's my opinion. I hope you guys enjoy it. And that's all I had for you guys. If you're still with me up to now, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Pressing the like button helps a ton. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Speak to you guys in the next video. And until then, stay well, stay safe. Peace.